In this video, we are taking you along on our weekend away at home. You'll see how it falls, the old mushroom farm, a beach bar, Karkloof, and Midmar. So keep watching if you want to see our adventures. It's a long weekend and we decided to explore our new area. If you don't know yet, we moved to Hilton at the beginning of February. The nice thing about Hilton is that it's the start of the Midlands Meander, which stretches all the way to Moirabur. The Midlands Meander is a region in KZN that has lots of little coffee shops, restaurants, accommodation, and fun things to do. Just to give you an idea on how popular the Midlands is, last night I went onto booking.com and only three places popped up. So it's gonna be super busy in this area over the weekend. We love how magical this place is. Today we're lucky with blue skies, but normally you'll see the mist rolling into the green hills and it just makes this place so magical. We started our long weekend a little early by going to Jackie Cameron's School of Food and Wine on Thursday night and attending Sundowners with the Difference where we had a food and wine pairing evening with Boschendal Winery. But today we have come to Howick Fall. Howick Falls is about 100 meters high and entry is free. Lots of parking, easily accessible. And that's why we chose to come here first today. It's actually amazing. When you go and look over the edge, yeah, I hope you're not scared of heights because it's very high up. <laughs> but it's really beautiful. On the pathway to the falls, you'll find a lot of local vendors selling curios. There's also a nice large grass area where you can come have a picnic and you can just come chill. Very peaceful here. Are we at Ray's kitchen and we're just having a quick cool drink because it's actually very hot today. So it seems like this restaurant is part of the Howick Falls Hotel and that they have really cool um, meal specials on and if we were hungry we would definitely have eaten there. But now it's on to the next place. We decided to drive towards Karkloof to visit this place called Old Mushroom Farm. We haven't been here before, but so far it looks really cool. There's these old mushroom tunnels, I think, and they have coffee shops and shops inside of them and beautiful views. All of the places here seem to be surrounded by forest. It is just so, so beautiful. We just came to Bluebird Coffee. It actually won the award of the best roastery in the country. That is so cool that it's so close to where we live. And we can't wait to taste the coffee. But how cool is the setting? It's like an old mushroom tower. That is delicious. We have to buy some. We're having a pour over coffee now, which is not on their menu, and I'm quite, quite excited. That is really nice. That was such a cool experience, having coffee that's not even on the menu. The people here were just fantastic. He walked us through his whole, the whole story of how their coffee shop came about. And then there's also a little boutique clothing shop. It's been quite cool to just come here and spend some time. See you at the next spot. Now I come to Rotunda Beach Bar. The music's really loud, but this is where we're gonna be for lunch. It's so cool. We're sitting on beach and so happy right now. We were pleasantly surprised by this beach bar. 
The food was really good. There's such a nice vibe and they were also celebrating St. Patrick's Day so everyone was dressed up which was really nice. We're gonna go home now and we're gonna see you guys again in the morning. It's 7.30 a.m. Saturday morning and we decided to come for a hike. We are at Karkloof Country Club. There's a whole bunch of mountain biking trails and hiking trails, running trails. It's 80 Rand per person. There's lots of parking. There seems to be not a lot of people here yet. Yeah, it's quite quiet. So it's going to be nice and quiet. There's the trail behind us. Let's go! <laughs> We just entered the trail and it's so beautiful already and it smells so fresh. Oh. We did an open section. Luckily we came early because the sun just came out and it's getting a little bit hot, but now we back in the forest, in We're the shade. Three kilometers in, oh. back in the shady forest, yeah. We're taking a quick break to pack away the drone and we have some energy bars. We are about five kilometers into our hike. And we're approaching the waterfall. Karkloof waterfall. And so excited to see it. I've never seen it before. I ran here the other day and I was just misty and we yeah. looked over the edge and you couldn't see anything. So how long did it take you to run the whole trail? Probably so an hour for yeah. Yeah, so we're just taking it slow today. It's already been an hour and a half. Yeah. But you can do this trail very, very quickly. It's they're quite even and not a lot of incline so yeah we're just taking our time yeah. getting photos getting shot and just behind me is the valley and the waterfall You can actually drive here and park here and there's beautiful grass areas where you can sit and have a picnic and look at the waterfall. We packed hot dogs and chocolate milk. We finished our breakfast and now we're we making the way back. We walk around the top of the waterfall and then we actually go, I think we contour the mountain looking down at the river which is a pretty good spot to walk. Just look at that waterfall in the background. It's so nice. Very, very cool. Wow, we okay. Let's go. Time for the way back. Just through these trees down there, there's another waterfall. We can hear it, we can see the water going through the trees. Pretty cool. We decided to veer off the trail and come down to the waterfalls. It's just a small little detour. There's a picnic site here, there's bright areas. And it's just so nice. Some people are set up their blankets and they have their food out, the fires are going. So that is something we definitely have to come back and do. The nice thing about Kark Loop Trails is you can hike through the forest, you can see waterfalls and you can hike up next to the river, which is what we're doing now. You can run, you can mountain bike and you can hike like us. My favorite part is it's mostly shaded. All I want to do is take a tube and go float down the river. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Check it out.
We just stopped by the river. There's these cascading waterfalls. It's actually incredible. We put the drone up and yeah, this river is pumping. The sun is out yeah, now. The sun is out in full force now. It's 11 o'clock. We really took our time with this hike slash walk. I can see the car. <laughs> we made it. It's a really beautiful trail. Like really take your time out here because the nature is beautiful. We'd highly recommend this and it was so quiet today. Yeah. I think our plans for the rest of the day is just to go home and bry because this is our weekend away at home. <laughs> We decided to stop at this train station for some ice cream at Mumu's ice cream shop. We have a strawberry crush. We're getting us something fruity today. It's good, very berry, berry-ish, mm -hmm. cool and refreshing. Well, oh, but really nice. Such a good spot here too. This is Hilton Station and the train tracks aren't used anymore. But they have all the old trains here, which is very cool. Welcome to our new home, Hilton. Now we're just going to go to the shop and get some meat and have a braai. And then we'll see you again tomorrow morning. It's Monday and it's the last day of our long weekend. We have come to Midmar Dam. We're going to have a champagne breakfast. To get into this area is 40 rand per person and it's really big we drove around there's so many picnic spots places to launch boats so we find a little spot we're going to set out our blanket so we're just going to chill a bit have a nice breakfast it's a lot colder today than the rest of the weekend so i don't know how long we're actually going to stay but yeah let's do it let's do it We spent a couple hours here at Midmore Dam. It was so relaxing. We just sat here, had our champagne breakfast, and then we spotted all these monkeys. They're actually sitting on my car now. They stole some stuff from the people next to us. Um, so we think we're actually going to head off now before they attack us and take the rest of our food. to go down to Hobie Point and that's where we sat and had our little champagne breakfast but as we said earlier there's lots of spots that you can sit on and benches and dry areas. The nice thing about a weekend away at home is that there's no checkout time. We also got to enjoy the full last day of our long weekend. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and our new place of living, our new town. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you watch the next one. Off of your butt. Oh no. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Is it gone? <laughs> Why don't you help me? <laughs> hey, she didn't even help me. Okay. We started our no, yeah. We started our long weekend a little bit earlier by uh, going no it's all. Um can we do this? Sorry. We finished our <laughs> Yeah. Just a bit of a thought.